Hey guys, so I have published a video about programming the Bafeng motor, but so many people have asked me which settings, what to do, and so on. So I'm gonna record another video, go a little bit more deep, like intrinsically in what I do to increase the power, to improve the range, and to have a more smooth difference between the levels of assist of the, the Bafeng motor. After I connected the USB cable on my computer and I connected it to the uh, harness of the Bafang controller, I go to the software, I write down the port which my USB is connected, I know it's COM4. If I don't know which port I'm connected, I go to device manager on Windows, device manager, boom, and I'm gonna read the port that I connected the USB. The point here is I press connect, then I press read flash. As soon as I, I'm inside of the software, first thing I do, I lower the voltage cutoff. In this way, I let the battery do the cutoff. Um, it means that normally the battery has a lower cutoff than the controller and it extends the range. What's the drawback? As soon as the battery is depleted, I have to fully charge it straight away. Then we increase the current, which is a great thing to do if you want more performance. If you don't want performance, you can decrease the current. And then we go through the assist levels. On assist zero, I leave it zero on both current and speed. But then on the assist one, I do 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100 on assist nine. Then we go to speed with 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Now you think I'm gonna go to 90, but there's a bug in the software and it jumps to another uh, tab, you see, right. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back here, put 90. The wheel size, this is a BMX with 20, 90 inches wheels. And then I press right and it will write on the Bafang controller. Great. Uh, why I like going in a progressive way? Because then on level assist one, it's very smooth, just a minimum amount of power. Uh, while on the original settings of the Bafang, the pedal assist one is a huge amount of power. It simply boom, delivers like a, 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 a truck loaded with energy, you know, and uh, it's difficult to control. Then we jump to the pedal assist settings. What I do, I maintain the first three settings original, then we start with the current. The starting current, the lower it is, the longer will be the lifespan of the motor. So right now I'm gonna put 20, all right? In slow start mode and start up degree, I leave them at four because I don't want the motor jerking on the very first uh, rev of the pedals and I don't want also the bike with a long delay to start. Four and four on these two settings is perfect. On the work mode, I leave undetermined, which is great. Then we have the time to stop, put it at 10, because as soon as we stop pedaling, the motor should stop as well. If we leave at 25, there's a long delay, a quarter of a second is still pushing the bike forwards. We don't want that. Current decay, leave at eight, so we maintain the current high. And if you wanna make the pedal assist equal to the throttle power on this keep current, you put 100%, all right? So I'm gonna write, it's written, and then we have the throttle settings. I like to have the throttle work, working independently than the pedal assist. So I'm gonna put the throttle designed as nine, and speed limit 40. It means that the bike will not have speed limit. It's great, we can keep up with traffic. If you want the throttle to be uh, according to the pedal assist level, let's say um, pedal assist level one, when I press the throttle, I have a little bit of power. On two, I have a little bit of power on the throttle. On three, a little bit more and progressively, you would leave this by display command. But in this case, I want the throttle to be maximum power and here nine okay so i'm gonna press right and okay on mode we could shift between current and speed i basically i haven't noticed a big difference between both of them so i just leave current and that's all right okay an important observation is that when is assist zero 
and I have zero on limit and zero on speed, the display of the bike is set on zero. Both the pedal assist and the throttle will not work. Okay, so that's like having the bike on and disengaged. This is something that we want for safety, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for more. Cheers from Cyberbikes.